what we're going to look at today is volume, and we want to um, find the volume of prisms, and eventually we'll find the volume of pyramids and cylinders and cones. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to look at this. This is a rectangular prism. Uh, its base is a rectangle. It is a 6 by 3 rectangle, and the height of it is 10. And so we have this rectangular prism, and we want to find volume. Well, volume, well, let's go back to area. Area is the number of square units it takes to fill a region. So here is the base. Uh, we've learned about um, area, so we could find the area of this base. It is uh, 3 times 6, so it's 18. Now, volume is the number of cubic units it takes to fill a closed in space. And so really, you see all these cubes here. We want to know how many cubes do we have. Um, and we could count them off, obviously. But the better way to do this or to realize is we have the, the base here. There are uh, 3 times 6, so 18 cubes on the bottom here. And then we have 10 layers of these cubes. So we have 18, and then another 18, and then another 18 in this next layer. Like if you're thinking of a building, our first story is 18, and then the second story all the way up to the 10th. So what we can do is we can take that area of the base, which was 18, and multiply it by the height, and we will have the volume of this thing. That will count up the number of cubes we have. Um, so the volume of this would be area of the base, which is 18, times the height, which is 10. So 18 times 10 is 180 units cubed. So that is the volume of that rectangular prism. Now this carries over to other types of prisms. So here is a triangular prism. Um, the base is a triangle. Um, the base of the prism is a triangle. And we see, and we have to specify, so the base, the, it's a triangle, so area of a triangle is base times height. The base is 6, and the height is 3. And that's the base of the triangle and the height of the triangle, which is different than talking about the base of the prism and the height of the prism. So, But this still holds true that we want to do area of the base times the height. Uh, before it was obvious because we could count up the cubes for the rectangular prism, but we're going to have to trust our formulas here. We have 1 half base times height, so 1 half 6 times 10 is 30, so the area of this bottom layer is 30, which means we have 30 cubes on that bottom layer, and then we have three of those layers, so we take 30 times 3, which is 90, and so the volume of this would be 90 units cubed. So to find the volume of any right prism, in fact this works for oblique prisms also, but to find the volume, it's going to be area of the base, whatever the shape of the base is, times the height. And this even works for cylinders. So if we had a cylinder, we would do the area of a circle times its height. Uh, 